one, two, three, go. I hope you're doing good by the grace of God, cause I'm doing fine by the grace of God. I hope you're doing good by the grace of God, cause I'm doing fine by the grace of God. I hope you're doing good by the grace of God, cause I'm doing fine by the grace of God. Hello TLA squad and welcome back. Welcome back to a new video of mine. Why did I do this? <laughs> welcome back to a new video of mine. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how much I spend in a week. Yep, in a week. And bear in mind, this is my first time living alone. This is my first time, you know, being accountable of what I spend, what I do with my money, how I save my money and so on. So I would say let's just start with the first day, which is Monday. So let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. In my dreams, big payout Underneath my money tree, big shade out Now these models wait on me for gay Baby, tell me why your heart's so cold Can you say Today is Monday And I have already been grocery shopping and spending already a lot of money and I kept all the receipts from today so let's go through it, okay? So let's start with Wilco So in Wilco I got um Hermus. So I spent two pounds and 75 pence. Then we went to Aldi and there um, we spent on groceries. Uh, we spent 25 pounds and 90 pence. Then I also got more hair products and I actually got a discount of 50 pence <laughs> but um, I spent seven pounds and 48 pence then I went to BM and got two packs of Cheerios oh my god I freaking love Cheerios Cheerios if you see that hit me up okay <laughs> so there I spent four pounds and 98 pence and last but not least we went to tesco and i got like m ms and milk and i spent six pounds and 25 pence and then also we got an uber and i think it was five pounds and 56 pence so if i'm doing the math correctly I have spent today, <laughs> let me calculate. A few minutes later. I have spent today, on Monday, 51 pounds and 92 pence. I think that's okay. Is that much? <laughs> I don't know. Guys, it's the first time I'm actually living alone with my friend and no one is holding me accountable of what I'm buying. So I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It's Monday. Let's see what I spend the next couple of days. But for today, I'm going to cook, do some homework. Um, yeah, so let's do that now. everyone so I'm officially done I'm done I'm done I'm done um, I'm going home now I don't think I will spend money today guys I don't think I'm going to spend money to be honest because well yesterday when I was done with cooking I realized that I'm missing something so actually I have to add two pounds <laughs> to my total amount of yesterday um, because I got pasta so the amount has risen <laughs> and yeah for today I don't think I'm actually gonna spend money maybe later I don't want to say no but if I'm craving something maybe I will go out again but as of now I think I will just go home because I'm actually very tired eat something and then I'm gonna update you later but 
as of now, I have spent zero. <laughs> a long day again and let's just start by what I have done so far today so I had two classes one lecture and one seminar and then I had I went to the gym then I also went to Tesco twice <laughs> and I went to Bible studies so let's start with the first thing I bought today so um, during my break, I went to Tesco and I got two croissants, which were just one pound each, which is amazing, which makes it two pounds, <laughs> obviously. So I spent two pounds at Tesco in the morning. Um, then I have a gym membership and I bought, well not today, but like I bought a three month uh, membership premium membership so um, the total of that is 78 pounds which means that per month I spend 26 pounds and then if we divide it again <laughs> into weeks I pay six pound and 50 pence each week and then I also um, bought um, two packs of grapes at Tesco later in the day before I went to Bible studies and I think there were let me get the receipt I have the receipt here <laughs> so for the grapes I paid two pound and twenty pence so I bought two of them so in total it is four pound and forty pence and I think that was it that I got for today so let me calculate everything I spent today. Today I spent 12 pounds and 90 pence. Yo, that actually is great, right? That's not much. We are actually doing great so far because like I don't want to just like go and buy stuff just for the sake of the video. Obviously I'm tempted to, can't lie. I cannot lie, but I want to make it realistic because like I'm here still for a couple of months and I don't want to blow up my whole money <laughs> just for this video. I have much more videos to come. So I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible. So please don't be sad if I'm not spending thousands of pounds because that's insane. I'm not even doing that at home. So why should I do it here? Yeah, so tomorrow I am off. I have off and um, yeah, we're gonna see what we're going to do tomorrow. I'll keep you guys updated and yeah. I would say, see you tomorrow. Hello to Eli Squad and welcome to another day. So, today I was off, so I didn't went to university, but I went to the gym. And after the gym, I went to Tesco and got some bananas and I spent a total of one pound and 62 pence, which is not much. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's what I bought so far today. Um, I don't think that I'm going to spend much more money today. I actually wanted to order some things, like I wanted to buy hair and hair oil, but um, there are some complications with that because like for some reason I cannot um, put in my right address and that's why I'm still trying to figure that out and the hair oil seems to be also on the very expensive side so I think I before I order these things I will check in the store if I can find them and if not I will order them but um, yeah I will definitely let you guys know and yeah so as of today I don't think 
like I said, that I'm going to spend more money. Um, I still have to finish some things on my to-do list. Um, as you can see, I have done a couple of things, but I still have to finish up with some things. So I'm going to do that now. And I think later in the day, I'll have dinner because after the gym I didn't really eat something because I was not very hungry or I am not hungry up to now and yeah I would say chill with me and then we're gonna see what I will do next let's go squad and welcome back so welcome to another day where i spent money <laughs> me and my friend are going to the cinema today and we have already bought the tickets so for the tickets we had to pay 10 pound and 50 pence each but we also had to pay an uh, additional fee of two pounds and fifty pence, which brings us to twelve pounds and fifty pence. So that is the amount I have already spent so far for today, which is actually completely fine. But obviously, we are going to the cinema, which means I'm going to buy popcorn and some drinks and stuff like that so I'm definitely spending a little bit more than that but I will update you guys as soon as I get there so I would say let's have some fun let's go to the cinema and have a great evening let's go tell me why you giving up on God tell me why you giving up on God Tell me why you can't give him a try Tell me why you can't give him a try He's waiting for you down the stairs He's waiting for you to come home He's trying to get back to you He's trying to give you a call He's the Alpha and Omega He's the one for you He's my savior and my provider He's the one for you so tell me why Tell me why you giving up on God Tell me why you giving up on God Tell me have you given him a try Tell me have you given him a try So, TLA squad, I'm finally back home Um, let's talk about the movie This movie is a freaking 10 out of 10 I am not even joking. I am, no, I am not playing the Woman King. If you're still debating if you want to watch a movie, go watch it. Go watch it now. After you finish this video. <laughs> but no, this movie was so amazing. I mean, there's a lot of violence in it and a lot of blood. And you have to be 15 to watch it. <laughs> but. Other than that, it is so amazing. It was very, very good. The storyline was amazing. The actors were amazing. The way they portrayed West African just, they was all so beautiful. It was just, it was just fantastic. Everything was perfect. Trust me, trust me on this one. Go watch it. Go watch it. It's amazing. But um, yeah, in terms of what I have spent so far, so as I already have predicted, I got um, popcorn <laughs> and I also got a soft drink so my popcorn and um, the soft drink was in total 10 pounds and 49 pence so if we calculate we will have a total of 22 pounds and 99 pence so that's what I spent today. And we will see how much I will spend tomorrow. But yeah, movie was 10 out of 10. It was amazing. Night Out with the girls was amazing too. Um, yeah, I would say have a good night and see you tomorrow.
Hello TLA squad, welcome back, welcome to another day of mine where I spend money. So today is Saturday, I already went to the city with my friend and we went almost everywhere but I didn't buy everything I saw today. So um, we went to JD, we went to Boots, we discovered a new place called Home Bargain. So if you're looking for like um, cleaning stuff or like general like actually have everything not only cleaning stuff but like general like um home articles or just just everything you need because they also legit had like um um real food <laughs> but um yeah if you're looking for that and you don't want to spend so much money that's the perfect place but yeah let's just start with the first thing i got today so um i went to the hair shop again this is a mini haul now, so <laughs> I went to the hair shop again and today I bought like this, I hope, yeah, it's like hair oil, coconut hair oil because I think I already told you guys, I wanted to order a hair oil from Amazon but it was quite expensive and this only um, cost £4.99 so I thought let's try it out it says it's also good for hair growth so let's see if that actually works but I think I will be positive about that so this is what I bought today £4.99 um, then I went to Home Bargains which again completely recommended for everyone who's looking for like um, bottom low prices amazing so I got a lot of stuff there so I got like toothpaste this is so good this smells fantastic so this is like a shower cleaner but you can actually use it for everything so got two of these again I just can't recommend these I also got a toilet cleaner and I got four bars of soap so for all of that I spent nine pounds and 71 pence then we went to boots love it <laughs> and i got a um lip liner i don't know if you can see it but yeah i bought this one i think that was eight pounds and then i also bought like a nail file which was just like one pound so in total nine pounds spent at boots and i think that was it no no then i got hungry so um sorry for that so <laughs> uh we bought donuts and the donuts i think oh my god they were so good i think we uh spent like two pound fifty for four donuts um yeah but that was it so let's calculate what i have spent so far today so in total I have spent today 26 pounds 20 pence I'm not spending anything <laughs> today again because I will just have like a very relaxing and calming Saturday evening we're going to watch Moana so um yeah that's it for today I would say see you guys tomorrow the final day <laughs> Time for me to introduce a new person to this vlog. Hey everyone, it's Miss Joy. The one and only. What are we doing today? So I'm taking Angel to Lark Lane. I'm showing her the sights of Liverpool City, <laughs> the best city. No, it's not. But anyways, well, it is quite cute to be cute. honest. It's cute. We're at Sefton Park right now, going to Lark Lane. What can I say? <laughs> Couple vibes. Date night. We will keep you updated, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys.
squad and welcome back so i'm finally back home and let's just break down what i have done so far today i went to church church was amazing the worship the service the word everything was on point it was so 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 beautiful and after church me and joyce went to a town i actually forgot the name but i will put the name right here it was such a cute town like i've never been there and um, we took the bus there so that was actually also the first time i took the bus and for the bus ride i had to pay two pound twenty it was like a day ticket um afterwards like during the time we were in that town we took some pictures uh hang out talked a little and then we also got like a small dessert I got waffles and I think she got like a cheesecake um, and my waffles I think I paid £6.99 um, yeah so that's what I spent but I also ordered hair because soon I will do my hair again and it always takes a little bit of time till they get here so I order in advance and for the hair I had to pay 51 pounds and 61 pence yeah i did that i did that but i already knew that it is going to be a little bit more expensive than in germany which is fine i guess <laughs> but um yeah so in total i spent today 60 pounds and 80 pence and yeah <laughs> i don't even know what i have to say again after spending so much money but it's okay it's okay i mean we gotta do what we gotta do and i think now it's time to cut back to my fixed costs because i have not mentioned how much i have to pay for rent and washing my clothes and stuff like that so let's cut back to that clip so you guys you have just seen how much i spend on each and every day doing this whole week and now it's time to talk about fixed costs. Yeah, fixed costs which stay and are to pay no matter what. <laughs> okay, so where's my phone? So um, this accommodation I'm staying in right now um, has washing on site, meaning that I do not have to like go out to public spaces to wash my clothes, which is fine, but it still costs money. Yeah. And I try to wash at least once a week, but if my basket ain't full, mm -mm -mm, I am not washing. <laughs> I am saving my coins. So, but um, generally speaking, I have to pay for my washing £2.50 and then another £1.50 for drying and then another fixed cost which is always there is the rent yeah because you have to pay money for staying in your accommodation yeah obviously <laughs> but yeah I have to spend £157 per week and I'm living in and in suite so that means I have my bathroom and I have my room I have my desk and I have a kitchen which I'm sharing with my friends so yeah that's what I'm paying for my rent and I don't know I think it's kind of on the higher side because I saw accommodations that were just like I would say 99 pounds per week or 100 I don't know 20 or 110 but yeah I have to pay that much Per week <laughs> yeah so I think now it's time to like calculate every single thing or every single amount I spent so far and I will just you know display it right here so on Monday I spent 53 pounds you see how I inhale <laughs> 53 pounds and 92 pence mostly on grocery which is fine because every week at least unless i'm traveling i have to do grocery shopping on tuesday i didn't spend at all yeah you heard me right i didn't spend at all <laughs> wednesday i spent 12 pounds 
and 90 pence and i think i explained it also it's because i have to pay the gym membership and then i just like calculated how much it would be per week and i think i also got like a croissant or something so on thursday i barely spent anything i just spent one pound and 62 pence on bananas moving to friday weekend i went to the cinema i watched the woman king come on you guys if you haven't watched it what are you waiting for thank you <laughs> i spent 22 pounds and 99 pence and then on saturday i went shopping i think not like clothes shopping but just like necessities i would say and i spent 26 pounds and 20 pence and then sunday final day i spent 60 pounds and 80 pence mostly on self-care and fun and with self-care i actually just mean my hair <laughs> i had to order my hair <laughs> and my hair was like around 51 pounds yeah and then bus ticket and i went out with my friend and ate so that was everything i spent and if you calculate everything and if i haven't made any mistakes I have spent in this whole week 339 pounds and 53 pence. I mean, is that much? I really don't know if that's much. I just know for a fact that I would have never, never <laughs> spent that much in Germany in a week. In a week? I mean, Yes, it's my first time living alone. I have to pay rent. I have to wash my clothes. I have to buy groceries. I have to do this and this and that. And in Germany, like, I don't have... I have responsibilities. That's not what I'm saying, but I don't have to pay rent. The only thing that I may have to pay, which might be a fixed cost, is like putting gas in my car. In the car of my dad. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's okay. It's okay. I, I think I'm fine. At least it's not like... 500 or like 600 or like 1000 i think i think that's actually a solid good amount and from now on i would just you know relax <laughs> relax and think about how much i spend but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys i don't know maybe feel challenged to do something similar as to what i have just done and maybe it will help some of y'all enough talking hope you guys enjoyed it see you in my next video Bye.